Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Avilash and I am a full-time trader by profession. I have started this channel recently where I share my daily market analysis on the stock markets of USA, UK and Canada. And also share my daily analysis on the currency pairs like Euro, USD, USD, Japanese and British Pound, USD, etc. So in this video, I will be, uh, be recommending few stocks for 9th March 2021, okay, Tuesday. So this video is for Tuesday only. I will be coming again tomorrow with tomorrow's analysis. So let's jump to the chart. So the first stock for the day is Anglo-American. And you can see that Anglo-American has beautifully close above 3018.5. There was a support. There was a support available at 2956 level. Okay. It respected the support and ultimately it closed above 3018 level. And if you look at the chart, Okay, you can see that the overall this, uh, trend of the stock is very beautiful. The stock is in uptrend. Okay. So, if you have this stock in your portfolio, I will recommend to keep on holding. Okay. And if you are looking for a day trading opportunity, then your opportunity will be this. If you get the stock above 3020 level today, okay. if you get the stock above 3020 level, go for a buy order. Go for a buy and your target will be this 3085. So only buy above 3020 and for a target of 3085. Okay. So the second stock for the day is SMDS Mint. For Smith, you can see that uh, it has made a shooting star kind of a pattern or okay and Day for yesterday also there was some price rejection above and and somehow it has managed uh, somehow it has managed to give closing above this support level for two days okay somehow it is uh, it is managing okay so it is very struggling hard to sustain above this support which is at uh, 398 level i guess 396 level and ultimately close at 399 level so what you can do is if you see that today uh, today if the stock fails to respect the support and if you find the stock below 396 level you can go for a uh, sale order you can short the stock if you spot some good selling pressure below 396 level so the next stock for the day is prudential crew for crew you can see that crew is in nice uptrend as of now so if you get to if you get to above 15 Zero 09 level. Okay. If you see that the stock is trading above 1509 level, you can go for a buy order. Okay. Just make sure you are following the trend of the market. That's it. But there is not much upside for proof because there is a uh, resistance on the daily chart at uh, 15 this level. Okay. 1530 uh, level. Okay. So there is not much upside. If you enter at 1510 or 1511, okay, you need to come out by 152928. But overall, the trend of the stock is good, so you can enter. Any profit is good profit. So the next stock for the day is Phoenix. For Phoenix, you can see that it has made a big bullish candle on the daily chart and it has crossed this uh, daily resistance, which was at 739 level okay and managed to give closing at 749.6 so the strategy is very simple if the market is in uptrend and if you find the stock above 749.6 level go for a buy if the stock if the stock opens okay if the stock opens above 749.6 level then just wait for the stock okay then just wait for the stock to settle down for at least 30 minutes okay give 30 minutes and if you see that after 30 minutes also things are quite positive you can go for a buy order and if you see that the stock opens below 749.6 okay then let the stock cross the level okay if it crosses this level comfortably 749.6 level comfortably okay then wait for 15 to 30 minutes let the resistance become the support and then you should go for a buy order so the next stock for a day is uh, PME
for BM you can see the BME was a downtrend and it has made a big bearish candle yesterday okay there was a support available at this level 7 oh sorry 580 level so it respected the daily sorry my diary fell down <laughs> so it ultimately respected the level and gave a closing uh, just above the support level so if you get the stock below 518 level you can short the stock yeah, this is the level then you need to look for you can short the stock below 518 level just make sure you are being the price is being supported by the volume okay volume is necessary i am saying the volume is hub you need to get the confirmation of volume because this stock is in over sold territory for a long period of time okay that's why but i'll not recommend to buy here because we are not sure uh, if there will be a bounce also how uh, how the bounce will react okay so that's why following that trend if you get the stock below 580 level short the stock and the last stock for the day is avast You can see that the last traded price of Avast is 420, 420. Okay, so you can see that overall trend is not that good. It is in downtrend. So if you uh, if you get the stock below 420 level, okay, if you get the stock below 420 level, you can short the stock. Okay. Just uh, and if the stock gives a gap down opening also, then do not trade right away. Wait for 15, 30 minutes. Let the stock settle down a little bit. Okay. Then you can, huh, then you try to understand it, understand the psychology. Okay, just wait for 30 minutes if there is a gap down opening. Okay. And in case there is a gap up opening, uh, if it crosses after that, if the price fails to sustain above 420 level and comes down, okay, and uh, if it crosses the 420 level, then also wait for 15 30 minutes, let the support become the resistance, okay, let the stock trade below the 420 level for 15 30 minutes okay then only you should go for a short order okay these are the few confirmations that you need to look for in the market to be on the safer side and to earn money consistently okay. so these are the stocks that you need to watch on tuesday so hopefully you have understood and i'm extremely sorry for not having a professional setup and background actually i do not get time to edit my videos uh, in fact i do not even replay my videos after the recording i simply upload it okay so extremely sorry and if you have understood and if you have found the video inform uh, informative <laughs> then please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis i always try to bring the analysis just before the market opens uh, so that you can stay ahead of the market and if you want to check the check the uh, the power of analysis you can check the other videos my previous videos and you can do a back test of the data so that you can understand how beautifully the things work okay. so anyways thank you so much and please give a thumbs up to my channel and please subscribe see ya tomorrow bye bye